Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Ferguson. Today we're going to be working on Skills Unit 5, Lesson 14. And by the end of this lesson today, you should be able to say short vowel sounds, say letter sounds, read the tricky words, point from left to right when reading, and point to the correct spoken word. So today we're going to start by reviewing our short vowel sounds. What short vowel sound is this? That's right, eh. And to remember the eh sound, we can take a finger and put it below our lips like this and say eh. Let's do that three times. Eh, eh, eh. Perfect. And this short vowel is, that's right, eh. And to remember the eh sound, we can pretend not to ear. Hear. So let's do that. Put our hand behind our ear and pretend not to hear. You ready? Eh, eh, eh. Good. And this is the, that's right, eh sound. And to remember the eh sound, we can pretend not to cry. So let's do that three times. Are you ready? Eh, eh, eh. Perfect. And this short vowel is, that's right, uh. And to remember the uh sound, we can raise both arms above our heads. So let's do that three times. Are you ready? Uh, uh. Uh, good. And the last short vowel sound is, that's right, ah. And to remember the ah sound, you can open your mouth, take your pointer finger, and circle around your mouth. Let's do that three times. You ready? Ah, ah, ah. Good job. Now we're going to review our sounds. So let's say the sounds together. You ready? Mmm, ah. D, A, K, G, E, N, H, S, F, V, Z, P, E, B, O, R, A, W, J, Y, X, K. Excellent job with those sounds, boys and girls. Now it's time to review our tricky words. Let's review them together. One, two, three. The, A, blue, yellow, look. Excellent job with those tricky words, boys and girls. So today we're going to read Ox and Man again. Remember we read this story yesterday? It was such a good story. So here we see the front cover of the book. Can you say front cover? Good, front cover. And down here, we see by the purple arrow, some words. And those words are the title of the book. Can you say title? Good, title. And the title is Ox and Man. Good. And that purple arrow moved again. It's pointing to the ox. Do you remember what an ox was? That's right. An ox is similar to a cow, so it's kind of like a cow. It's used to do different kinds of work, like pulling a wagon or a cart, or it can plow fields on a farm. So an ox can be used for many different things. So now I'm going to read the story to you, and then we're going to read the story together. So just listen closely. You ready? Ox ran and ran. Jin ran at him. But Ox ran on. Kim had him. But Ox ran on. Men fed Ox. And led him. 
and sat on him. So now we're going to read it again. Oh, that was such a good story, by the way. We're going to read it again. Again, we're going to read it together this time. But before we read, I want to, you know, talk to, about different things about sentences. You ready? So what you see here, you see that long arrow going under those words? That is a sentence. And a sentence always starts with an uppercase letter. What does a sentence always start with? That's right, an uppercase letter. You see that green arrow in the circle. It's around an uppercase letter. And sentences always end in some sort of punctuation. And this punctuation is called a period. Can you say period? Good, period. It shows us where the sentence stops. So now we're going to read this together. Are you ready? Follow the purple arrow. We're reading from left to right. Ox ran and ran. Good reading. Jin ran at him. Now look here. I circled a comma and a comma. When we see that, we take a short pause or a short break when we read. So every time you see a comma, you pause, take a quick breath, and you get right back into reading. But Ox ran on. Kim had him. There's that comma, so short break. But Ox ran on. Men fed Ox and led him and sat on him. Excellent reading, boys and girls. I am super proud of the hard work that you put in. So now we're going to answer some questions about the story. What happens when the girl men feeds the ox? Do you remember what happened? Now, it's okay if you don't remember. You can rewind the video and go back in the story to figure out what happened when the girl feeds the ox. That's right. Ox did not run. That busy ox, he didn't run. Why didn't the ox run? Remember, you can always go back and check. That's right, Ox was hungry. She had some food. Excellent job with those questions, boys and girls. So now for this activity, I'm going to say a word. And when I say the word, I want you to point to the correct word on the screen. So we're gonna start at the top at number one. So the first word is fit. Fit. Does this say fit or that say fit? Point to it. You're right, that does say fit, and I'm going to put it here on the line, fit. Now here's number two. We're looking for the word lip. Does this say lip, or does this say lip? That's right, lip, and here it is on the line. Now number three, we're gonna go down here, and the word is pat. Point to pat. Does that say pat or does this say pat? You're right, pat, great job. And here it is on the next word for number four, fin. Which one says fin? Is it this one or that one? You're right, fin, excellent job. And here it is on the line. Now we're number five. We're looking for the word yet. Does this say yet, or does that say yet? That's right, yet. And here it is on the line. Now we're down here at number six. We're looking for the word sit. Does this say sit, or does that say sit? You're right, sit. And here it is on the line. Pat yourselves on the back. You're doing so good. 
Now I need you to head over to Skills Unit 5, Lesson 14, Google Forms, and fill it out. Great job today, everyone. Keep up the good work. I'm so proud of you.